hi guys and welcome back to my channel I'm coming to you with another video I am plain face no makeup on we are going to do a first impression I have three items that I want to share with you guys and we are going to try everything today the first item that I'm going to share with you guys is a new palette from Urban Decay this is the fall spectrum palette and this what the packaging looks like so in this palette you get 21 shades from bold bright to matte white this palette is limited edition if you like matte colors and bright colors this is your palette to get this retail for around sixty dollars I believe so this is what the inside looks like you get a very big mirror and this is what the shades look like so they are very bright colors so this palette is a range of shadows in a rainbow of ombre colors you get pinks orange yellow greens blue purples and even a wild card road that goes from white to black so we are going to try some of the colors today at the end of the video I will have all the swatches for you guys if you guys want to see it on my beautiful skin tone now the next thing we're gonna try is the clinic super balance foundation and this is the shade sleek coco 20 this is the darkest shade this color you can only get it online not sure they're gonna come up with more colors but this is the darkest shade and I wanted to try to see how it looks on my skin tone and I love clinic products they are very nice for my skin type because I have very sensitive skin and this brand cater for my skin type which I love another thing that I picked up and this is the uh, stay matte share press powder and this is oil free this is 11 stay brandy and this is what the shade looks like do comes with a little sponge and just a safe card so the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna try the foundation I'm going to prep this beautiful skin I'm going to use my skin active clearly brighter from Garnier so I'm just gonna put a little bit Ooh, it's a lot. I'm going to use the Physician Formula Primer. It sometimes goes in my eyes and my mouth. So I'm just going to spray a little bit on my hand. And I'm just going to take it and just put it on my face. Do not use on damaged or broken skin. Keep out of eyes. Uh, stop use if irritation occurs. It's an allergy tested, which is 100% and is fragrance free which I love so much. This is a matte finish foundation. When I use the foundation, I want to conceal a little bit. My LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I'm gonna use this a little bit just under my eyes because this is the area that I have a, a bit of wrinkles. And I'm breaking up right here. Don't know why. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. So the foundation, it don't come with a pump. It's, I don't like when foundation is like that, but so you have to put it in your hand to get the foundation out. So this is what we gotta do. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand so you guys could see the color. So this is a color here. It looks a little light in the bottle, but it's darker on the skin. So I'm not sure if this is gonna work for my skin tone, but we are just gonna try it out. If anything, I just put powder on top of it just to blend everything together. So the foundation is a little thick, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. I'm gonna use this much for all over my face. You say it's fragrance free, but I'm smelling something. Let me just put a little bit here. Yep, it's very thick. So you could probably build this up to a full coverage if you want to. I think I put too much on this side. Yep. And the foundation it blends in really nice and it's not heavy on the skin very light and I, I think I'm gonna like this foundation and it covers really nice so this is what the foundation looks like and this is without gonna do this side real quick And I'm going to try to build this up to a full coverage because I like full coverage foundation. Because like you guys, um, as you guys know that I have a bit of acne. 
not that much but I have a little spots there and there and I think my skin is getting really better because I changed some of the items that I use for my skin it too has a smell um, it says fragrance free but yeah it has a fragrance smell so this is what the foundation looks like I really do like it and it covers all my acne it covers good so that's very important I'm going to use my pro mineral concealer from kiss this is rich caramel this is it and this is a little spoolie that it comes in and I really like this stuff and this is only $4.99 at the drugstores Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Laura Mercier setting powder. Uh, this is it. I'm going to use it with my Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to mix these two together. I did one eye of camera just to save some time. I'm going to use my primer from LA Girl just to prime my eyelid. I'm going to use my fingers just to blend it out. I'm going to use my Sony Akashi brush. So I'm going to take this color right here which is Gossip. And this has a little uh, shimmer in it. But it's not that bad on the eyelid. So I'm going to use this as a transition color. I'm going to go back and blend it. A little later I just want to have all the colors on my eyes and then I'll blend everything together I'm going to use my Shani Cosmetics uh, F21 brush and this is a blending brush I'm gonna take this purple color right here I'm gonna focus it more on my other V and I'm gonna bring it in and I like the color the pink color just to stop right in the middle right here as uh, so you guys see it so that's what I'm going for okay I like the way it looks now so I'm gonna take a clean brush I'm gonna use this BH cosmetic brush they don't have no name on it so I can't tell you guys the name of it so I'm gonna just blend everything together this is the Shani cosmetics e18 brush and this is an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take the blue color right here and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. You do get a little fallout um, in the eyeshadow, so someone like me who likes to do their foundation first, I suggest don't do that because it will get all over your um, foundation. I have a lot of fallouts under here, but I'm gonna brush it out when I'm finished. I'm gonna go back with the purple color and um, just to darken that area. And you want to be very careful when you're doing this. You want to take a little bit at a time because it could look very muddy. So I'm gonna use my clean brush that I used to blend before, and I'm just going to blend everything together. I'm gonna use my Sigma E30 brush. I'm gonna use this end right here just to blend it out. And I'm going to take a little bit more and put right on my tear dot right here because I'm going to put a yellow color in there. I'm going to take the yellow color, this is it here, I'm going to use that color in my tear dot. I always want to blend it, blend it. At the bottom I use blindsided which is this bright blue color. This is a hair. I'm gonna use that in my bottom eyelid and look at this. Very pigmented. I'm gonna use this uh, waterproof eyeliner from Anastasia. This is it. From the British Supply Store, this is the Kiss um, Envy Remy hair. Um, this is the style KPE60. Put my lashes off camera. I'm gonna use this powder from Ben I. I like using this brush. This is from Wet n Wild. And I just put a little bit in the top because it's very pigmented. You don't need a lot. 
and I was just going to contour a little bit see how dark it is so I'm going to use my uh, BH cosmetic brush I'm going to use this to blend everything together thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna use the powder which is from clinic and this is stay brandy I'm gonna use my powder brush to set everything together and this is a matte finish I like the finish with this powder it's very light on the skin and I really like that okay for my lips I'm gonna use um, a nude color this is um, Urban Decay Matte 1993. This is the color. And I'm gonna use a pencil. This is uh, She Makeup. This is waterproof. This is an eye pencil, but I'm gonna use it for my lips. This is a taupe color. I got this pencil from Ice Skate House. You don't have to use a pencil if you don't want to, but I like using a pencil. I'm gonna use this Mary Lou highlight from The Balm, and I'm just gonna use a little bit. So guys this is the final look the time now is 5 16 so I'm gonna come back in an hour or two and I will give you guys my final review on the products that I share with you guys today hi guys and welcome back I'm back to give you guys my final review on the products I share with you guys the time now is 7 30 and I had this foundation on for around two and a half hours I would say and I love this foundation guys I really do love it it matched my skin really well because my neck is lighter than my face and my neck is a little lighter but I will give you guys a close-up in a minute um so let's talk about the powder first this is a clinic stay brandy matte pressed powder and this is oil free and if you have sensitive skin like myself clinic is the best way to go because they have very good products for our skin type and I love this guys this is the color and this is the darkest shade that they have I really like the the packaging as well it's very slick I like the texture and I like the formula the powder is not that heavy on the skin and it's not patchy at all it's very smooth on the skin and I love it so we are gonna talk about the palette from Urban Decay and this palette worth the money guys it is limited edition so these are all the shades and if you like bright color like rainbow colors this will be very good for you I love all the shades they have some shimmer shades a few of the colors are matte but it's very pigmented especially the blue color right here I use it in my eyelid this color is is really pigmented this is one of my best buy this year I would say from Urban Decay and I believe I will keep this one the only thing that if you're looking for a transition color I know most people like brown colors but you could mix it up I don't mind using a pink color for transition it's all about blending and what works for you this is the clinic silk cocoa like I said in the beginning you can't get this at the store you have to purchase this online and this is around $25 the only downfall from this is there's no pump so if you are heavy handed like myself I suggest you put it on your hand and use a little bit at a time because you can pump out a lot because you don't have a pump you could also get the pumps from Amazon the foundation is very mattifying it's not heavy at all because I like foundation that sits on the face and it looks very natural so you guys can see right now that it looks very natural and very nice 
and I love that and it do covers really well I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see that so this is the side of my face um, this is a side that I really worry about especially right here I have a lot of dark spots here around my lips and I have some over here as well you don't see none of my marks on my skin it covers really well look how beautiful it is I really enjoy putting this look for you guys the shade range is kind of small it's very small but you could try it and you could mix it you could try different things if you buy this and it's too light for you you could try another foundation from the drugstore which is darker and you could mix it together if that's what you want but I don't like doing that because it's like spending too much money on a foundation just to get your shade this is all I have for you guys today thank you guys so much for tuning in and to my new subscribers welcome thank you for joining us and I definitely will see you in my next video bye guys Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on Turn us to thousands